Yo, what's up, guys? So I know this video is a little bit late, but I'm finally making a video on the Bumblebee car. I haven't even played a match with this thing. I just remember when it came out, uh, Justin was using it in scrims, and we won a game, and this thing starts dancing. Like, this car literally starts dancing. You can see right there, post-match celebration, when a match to celebrate with the random post-game celebration animation. Preview reaction. <laughs> Dude, it's so goofy, man. It's so goofy. There's a different one every time. Dude, it's, it's literally funny every time for me. I, I don't know why, it just makes me laugh every time. I haven't seen any of these in ranked at all. I think no one wants to use it because obviously probably doesn't feel the best, but it uh, it's pretty sick. It's the first car ever in Rock League that dances after you win a game. So we're turning into Fortnite slowly. Um, but yeah, let's let's play some games today. I think, you know you know what, since we're using a trolley car, let's queue some trolley modes. I'm gonna queue um, like drop shot, rumble, all those modes. Let's, let's see what we can do in those modes. But yeah, we're using this thing for today. It's a uh, Bumblebee from Transformers. Nice, we got a hoops game off the bat here. See how this goes. Hopefully we get some like decent shots of this car. Don't know what to expect, how it's gonna feel. It's gonna be a goal. Teammate couldn't get it, all good. I was gonna go for something cool off the bat, but he just went for the, the block straight up. All good, I also didn't have really much boost. I was gonna go for, am I supposed to go for? I actually don't know fine though. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to go for the furthest one back. Obviously in regular modes, whoever is closest to the ball goes. That's a little bit different. Nice. Good shot. I'll be real with you guys. Uh, my first touches on this car so far, I've only touched the ball. Yeah, I think the guy behind was a go, so that was my fault. Um, I've only touched the ball like three times so far, but Feels pretty nice. Is that in? Oh my gosh. Okay, gonna wait for Incognito's touch here. Play it off the back wall. Let's go for ceiling touch. Oh, I couldn't quite. The bounces on this map are a little bit different because the, the stadium's actually smaller. Okay, yeah, literally hard to get out of that situation. The stadium's actually a little bit smaller, so yeah, the bounces are a little bit different, especially toward the top end of the map where there's a curve. And on the normal maps, it comes down. It doesn't actually come down on this map. It's very difficult to get the bounce where it comes down on this map. If you guys have played hoops, you know, it's a little bit different. Even the walls, like even that on a normal map would have probably worked. Get up the wall. Try to go to the wall here. It's a touch into maybe one more touch to my teammate. Good try, it might be a goal. It's kind of hard to shoot though. Good hustle. Oh. I don't know why. I could have went, but I thought, I, I literally thought my teammate was on the wall here. Am I just dumb? I am. It was that guy, it was the enemy on the wall. I thought it was my teammate. No, it wasn't his fault really. All right, let's take control here. Guys are very, very aggressive. They do not care. I respect it. Wait for his touch. Played over one here. I'm gonna go for this boost. Nice, it's gonna be a goal, I think. Well done. Nice shot. Good job. I'm assuming this is the dominance hitbox. I actually don't know, to be fully honest with you. But I'm assuming it's the Dominus hitbox. Feels a lot like it is, at least. Nice. Didn't want to hit it with the top of my car. I thought I would just hit it wide, basically. Are you squishy muffs? Lol. Let's go for the ball here. Nice. Pinch maybe? Oh, man. Came off. 
my reads on this map are so bad. Like the map being smaller, I have too many hours on the normal map. Map being smaller just messing me up. Pogo? Aww. It's fine, it's fine. Nice. <laughs> nice little pop to ourselves. Teammates should go for this. We have a thousand points already. Don't feel like I'm playing that well. Making some mistakes, but... I'm glad I didn't play an actual uh, ranked match of this car. I don't think it's that, it's that great. I think it's just funny to me. And I'm sorry this video is late, by the way. It was toward the end of the RLCS season when this car came out and I was a little bit busy with uh, tournaments and stuff, so... Just gonna wait for the ground here. Sort of block them. I think I would have to change my... If I would ever use a car like this, like full-time, I'd have to change my camera settings. Don't like the way these settings feel. For it. Ah, oh, couldn't quite. Nice, good shot. Finish. That's myself up the wall, maybe. Nope. <laughs> Dude, the curves, all the curves of this map are so different. But I get over the hoop. Okay, pinch this off this and in, maybe? Not a bad attempt. Ah, uh, not enough boost. To hit it down. Try to back off. Wait for his touch here. Good touch. He actually hit it around me the only way possible. I was going for a double. I think the better play in this mode is always try to hit it off the ceiling. Because if it bounces off the ceiling, obviously it's just straight in. Go. See, it doesn't go down. That's what I was gonna say. It's gonna go out, but this is exactly what I was talking about. This this exact touch on a regular map would go down. See, it goes out. It's very different. Let my teammate have that now. I'm gonna bounce. Oh, I was hoping he'd leave it, but it's good. He probably thought it was a pass. touches gotta go for a shot why not that too teammate rolling that into the the bottom like that would usually be a bounce upward not out so gonna have one more touch I flick it let me turn this around save from them all right Good first game, it was pretty fun. Oh, this is what we're waiting for. <laughs> Dude, it's so good. It's so good. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was, uh, that was fun. That was fun. Let's, let's do another one. I'm queuing uh, hoops, drop shot, rumble. So whatever we get, we'll play. But yeah, that was fun. Let's get to the next one. Nice, all right, we got a drop shot game for the final one. We're playing uh, three guys partied up. We got a full solo queue team here. Let's see if we can get that uh, dancing animation to happen again for us. He's gonna have a hit here. I should wait for that. If I can block him, it's good. I'm trying to block him second there and I actually got the first touch, which is fine as well. Drop shot's a really fun mode. Always been my favorite extra mode. Um, so it should be a good time. Play it to my teammate here. So I'm just basically jumps in time. Nicely done. He's gonna have a hit. It's fine if he doesn't as well. Hit it to the open space to my teammate. I'm gonna fake this touch away. Should let the ball bounce. It's threatening a lot of options there. Because I have my flip. They know that, so. 
gonna have a hit. Just gotta wait. A lot of this is reading the game, right? Having an understanding of who's gonna hit the ball next, where should I be, how do I position to help my teammates. Nice double. Really good damage there. Is he gonna hit this? I don't think so, so I'm gonna wait. So again, you see all the little reads I'm making? Stuff that can't really be taught, it's more just uh, experience, understanding there. Nice. I'm gonna fake this, they're both up. Ball's gonna go up. It's fine, should be. That's okay. Did they get that touch? Me and my teammate double committed on the wall. Seeing a little bit of... Nice. A little bit of a um, domino effect from the one mistake. They got some really good damage off that dead sack in the middle, but it's all good. We're doing pretty, pretty well. Stair Isle hasn't been able to touch the ball yet, really. He's six points. That's not his fault, though. He's doing what he has to do. He hasn't felt intrusive. There you go. He got a touch that's decent. Not bad. Let my teammate go. I heard him up. Saving your boost is really important in this mode, too. There's no pads. So trying to pick the times when you're using your boost and let my teammate go. Let go now. Take it away from him. Beat this guy. You should win that. Nice. And notice how I didn't use much reach for that. And I'll try to go for this, hit it down. Probably doesn't feel bad in this mode at all. If I hit around this guy. It's gonna be a weird touch from him, so I gotta wait. He's up as well, he's up as well. They both missed, and it's actually better than them hitting it. It's going straight in. Nice save. If they had hit that ball back there, I'd definitely read it. It's a lot better when you're playing good players to throw in some misses, even though it is um, accidental, for sure. Um, not a bad idea. Uh, not quite. Almost got it just past that line there. It's gonna be there first. My first touch off the wall, looks like. Should I play it? Should have it. Nice. Really good read. It's not gonna be in, is it? Yeah, it's a little wide. It's gonna have one more, so just wait. Try to control, just have some space behind me to use it. Really good dunk. Gonna give us a lot of damage as well. Try to bump this guy on the way out. We're pretty big. If not, it's fine. They're going, so I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna try to play his touch over to the right. He played it really soft. That's well played. I don't really have much of a way to, to deal with that. I'm only one player there. Nice. Dangerous. Very big hole here now. But it's fine. I think we're okay. Okay, again, their misses are actually working better than when they hit it. I do have the move most of the time. Nice. Good shot. From Sterile. For a thousand points. Go. One. 71 damage. 71 damage. Not bad. But I think the more important thing in this mode is the defense for sure. Trying to find the, the reads in the opponent. And that's a really tough thing to do. It's actually a pretty, pretty good. Uh, way to practice just reading your opponent but yeah the only problems that my, me and my teammates have had so far is the double points on the wall nice this double I'll try to block him and get more damage i like that sarah didn't jump here but he should still oh <laughs> I'd say I like they didn't jump. It was really good they didn't jump. He got a completely free ball. He got two of them to double commit. And they just completely freaked out. And no goal. That's all good. He did good up until that point. That was the correct play, I think. Really good pre-flip. Only way we're not getting damage against us there. Just gonna wait. I think I should follow. It's fine. It should bounce toward our end though. So I gotta get a touch. He has one. Try to go to the right side here. Team is both kind of behind me, so it might be bad actually. Works out. I'll let him go. Try to hit it around him. I did. He actually kept it up for them. Just got tossed around. Oh my gosh, that's actually crazy. 
He's gonna touch one more, I think. Spread it all the way, it's pretty well done. Good dunk as well. We have some space to shoot on. Nice. Their second goal. Well done. 1300 points, pretty good, pretty good. I'm gonna drop it in my heart. They're all talking. Um, yeah, let's take a look at what we were all waiting for this whole time. The celebration. What we came here for. Always break dancing now. <laughs> Dude, it's so goofy, man. Every time, imagine, imagine losing an RLCS World Championship, like the grand finals of the biggest tournament ever in Rocket League, and the team that beat you are three bumblebees, and they're all breakdancing on you, and you just have to watch it. Wow. All right, it was fun. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have yourself a wonderful day or night, whatever time it is when you guys are watching. Just like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. I love y'all. Peace.